atmospheric changes, mostly visual, by the way, animation. Uh, I think also we spoke about uh, the, the crowds, living pitch and the, the crowd, crowds, and especially living pitch, all the visuals. But that's visual. Today we're going to talk about gameplay, and you have great news because you brought the actual game with you. I mean, we are going to watch at the game, uh, which is pl being played at this IGN booth right now. Uh, if we can switch to the game, I think we are already uh, we have already switched to it. We see the uh, the yeah. team management screen, we're, right? We're in, we're in team management. Team management is something. So if you look at what we are the, the community requests on the past, it was fix the keeper. So we are bringing next gen goalkeepers this year. That we're gonna talk a little yeah, bit about yeah, that. Yeah, I've later. seen that uh, in a few matches I've played. The goalkeepers are drastically changed. Uh, we'll get back to that when we uh, launch the game. But tell me something yes. about the changes because I uh, I understood. You can give instruction to each individual yeah. player, right? Yeah, team management is a complete overhaul this year. Uh, it's beyond just changing the user interface in terms of the UI, making more intuitive. This is one of the new features that, that Paul, the guy, is, is playing the game and is showing us that are called player instructions. So with player instructions, it's a new addition where... So you say Suarez don't bite. <laughs> you don't get that far, but for each position on the, on the field, uh, you specify how do you want that player to move around on attacking, on defense, on supporting the runs. So basically, you might have the same lineup, same formation, same everything, but you change the player instructions and you can completely change how your team plays. So for those guys that are super avid gamers of career mode, that they really like to dive deep into managing the team, uh, so they can affect completely how the team changes, and they can save up to what we call six team sheets. Six so team sheets. So you get, but can you also switch between those different team sheets during the match? Uh, no, no. So you select the team sheet when you are going into a match saying, OK, this is my team sheet for a, a cup game. This is my team sheet for like a, I know, a not an important league game. So can you switch it during the, 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 the pause, the break of the game? Yeah, going into game, you select what is the team sheet that you want to play with. And then during the match, yes, you can change the instructions, but the team sheet is, is a concept where uh, so you have all these predefined set of things, so you don't have to be changing that all the time. Ah, uh, that must hurt. Liverpool without Suarez. Yeah, so it's Lambert is not, it's not the same, but they still have Sturridge and Sterling. Well, uh, this looks totally different as well. We saw the audience, we saw uh, a great atmosphere. I yeah, think with that the English competition, they did all the stadiums, right? All the 20 the, the, stadiums. The Premier League uh, authenticity we have this year is phenomenal, phenomenal. Really, we have the 20 stadiums for the 20 teams that are in the 14-15 season for the Premier League. We were able to, to go and head scan uh, in all the clubs, so we're going to have more than 200 head scan faces uh, from the Premier League as well. And in addition to that, you can see the adverts as well. So in this case, okay, you see the, the FIFA.com, but the, we have a new technology for adverts uh, that are for each club on, uh, on the Premier League as well. New chance, not, not just on the Premier League, everywhere. We have the Premier League overlay package as well. Uh, visually, the game is really outstanding, and you can see uh, the living pitch. That yeah, the living pitch. It changes during the match, but to be clear, that's only visual, right? It doesn't influence it's the gameplay at all. It does. It, it really doesn't make sense to, to make gameplay changes. Uh, here we see a goal of uh, who is it? Is that, is that a nice defender? Goal? Is it? Is it Fabregas? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see when he's close by. That's Fabregas. Yeah, he's yeah. a new, uh, new kid in the team. Spanish. Uh, well, what is he actually? Is he an attacker or a midfielder? It's I don't know, he plays everywhere. But he he's, he he's usually plays in several positions. But he looks phenomenal. Look at that. One of, one of the new faces that we have as well. So, um, this is an early goal. Uh, Liverpool is not stressed yet, I think, emotional-wise. Uh, yeah, so, but I want to remark here the, of the living pitch. So you see how the pitch starts getting deteriorated over time. Uh, this is not a random thing, so we are really tracking every footstep, every slide, the, 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 the strength of that footstep and slide, uh, so the pitch gets deteriorated like in real life. Like uh, there are many, many things that really uh, make the entire experience really immersive. And that, that's why we call the tagline this year of feel the game, because that's about it. It's, it's feel the game in terms of uh, the experience, the atmosphere, but feel the game in terms of gameplay as well. Yeah, there we have it, there we have it. Oh. Did you see, oh, that's a, that's a fault, that might be a penalty kick. But did you see the goalkeeper? I really like that because uh, yellow card for Egger. 
Well, the, the goalkeeper was, I have not seen that um, uh, animation before. I mean, he was diving through the ball. He did not, uh, he wasn't able to catch it actually. Um, there you can see uh, that is back, but very foul. Yes, for goalkeepers, goalkeeper is something that the committee was really asking us for. And to be honest, it. yeah, but it was not, I mean, the, the goalkeepers in FIFA 14, they, they, were, they were like uh, machines, like rockets. They flew to the <laughs> ball, fast pace. It was absolutely not realistic, to be honest. Yeah, so it's not making every goalkeeper like a Neuer. Like Neuer but, I mean, you, you would not keeper. even uh, be, be <laughs> able to uh, play the ball around the goalkeeper, which is a uh, pretty common way to score. There, there are many, many ways, uh, new ways to score as well. So for, for keepers, so there are three main things. So one of them is reactions. So if you take in the past what we couldn't do, so keeper, once they made the decision, we couldn't change the decision on the fly. So if there was a ball deflection or something, they couldn't react. So right now, if the ball deflects, there is a curve, the keepers can adjust their, their legs, their arms, so they can react towards every change of situation uh, to try to save the ball. New animation, so all the saves look much more realistic, but like a new AI as well, the, the AI of the keeper, so they, they can analyze much better the situation to understand, okay, do I want to catch the ball, do I yeah. want to just grab it, do I want to go slow, running, jogging. Uh, so many, many situations where you, you can now score like a tunnel goal, uh, which yeah. is amazing. Well, this is a goal save as well from Peter Czech. Well, um, uh, okay, that, that looks very cool, the goalkeepers. Um, you guys did uh, some other improvements, like the dribbling, for instance. Yeah. Uh, in what way did you change that? Uh, First of all, we wanted to have like a, a huge attention on responsiveness this year, like a huge focus on responsiveness. And that's where, as soon as you pick the controller and you play the game, that's what you feel. So we, we've been showing the game for the past three months, four months, like to a lot of people to try it out and give us feedback. The first thing that they think is, okay, it looks amazing, which it does. And, and the second thing is, oh, it's super responsive. Responsiveness is not something that comes, uh, let's say, as a casual thing, so we put a lot of emphasis. One of those things was the new dribbling system. So the new dribbling system, it brings much more personality into a player. So if you are playing with Leo Messi, that is like a left footed, He's like a, like a, like a left mediocre footed. player like Maradona. <laughs> yeah, 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 so no players like those. <laughs> that, is, that is super left footed. So when you're dribbling with him, you can see how he prefers using the left foot all the time and only using the right when it makes sense. We completely model the contacts of the boot with the ball, like the proper physics for that that we didn't have in the past. So you start seeing these situations where the passing becomes much more uh, realistic. So it feels so good that it's the entire game. It makes super responsive, so you, you want to continue playing all the time. Uh, well, what I noticed is, uh, what, what, personally, what I noticed while playing the game at this uh, at, the, at Gamescom uh, two days ago, uh, I noticed that it's much more uh, direct and th therefore you can uh, have more options. I mean, you can uh, threat a defense to go solo or to pass, but I don't know what you're going to do, especially in multiplayer. I mean, uh, dribbling was not really a big part. You do, it's not a strong weapon in, in previous FIFA absolutely, games. Absolutely, I think it's, it's a really uh, a more dangerous weapon right now. Absolutely, well, and it's not just about attack. So there are new defending things, like yeah. in, in the man-to-man -man battles, we have shared pulling. Uh, did, did you also change the way of defense? Because I thought that, that we didn't see that hard tackle in the control uh, scheme. It, it's, no, it is, so we, we don't change the control scheme, but there are new things. Like uh, we have possession slide tackles. So in the past, the slide tackles were primarily to deflect the ball. But now when you slide tackle, you can recover the ball and then start dribbling when you're getting up. This is another thing that gives a lot of responsiveness as well. It makes the game much more fluid. Uh, and and in the man-to-man -man battles, there are all oh, No, Paul is trying fancy stuff now. <laughs> yeah, he's playing uh, on the difficulty of semi-pro. I want to show you this, but Paul is keeping the, the, the match highlights that are really good, so uh, we changed the highlights as well to make it much more relevant in terms of uh, having letter box, uh, like a post effects, and really telling the, uh, telling the story of the match. The highlights, so, but you usually skip them, like you did now. <laughs> but Paul, well, because he's carrying here, he wants to show us gameplay, so that's uh, perfect. I have a few questions about um, uh, FIFA 14 to FIFA 15, the improvements. Yes. I mean, uh, a lot of complaints out of the community were like uh, some strong weapons in FIFA 14, maybe a bit overpowered even. Like crossings and headers. Yes, absolutely. I think headers uh, you change, right? It's not easy to score with a header. Absolutely, they, two main things on, on on things that they didn't become exploits, 
but people were abused enough that we are yeah. the, the our I, power I use headers. it a lot. <laughs> our power headers is how, how they call it, and then some of the through balls. So we put a lot yeah, of Yeah, a lot of through balls were really strong as well, and especially because the AI defense was not really counting on it. It was really hard to defend. Yeah. How did you guys uh, uh, thought about a solution for that? No, it, it's fine-tuning, it's extremely fine-tuning. So we, we understood the problem, and uh, we investigated what it was, we understood the problem, and we were all the time tuning, 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 tuning those things and play testing. So it's all year long uh, to make sure that the hairs, uh, the through balls, or any other K, or any other situation in football, it doesn't become like an exploit or a predominant way of playing. So everyone, if, they, if you want to play like a passing game, if you want to play like a speed game, regardless what is it, your way of playing the game, you should have a fair chance of winning it. And, and it's on the opposition to try to overcome, uh, to find what is the weakness of that, that way of playing the game. And, and talking about ways of playing the games, we have two, two new mentalities. One for two new mentalities of positions. One that is probably, that we're seeing Chelsea, is called Park the Bus. <laughs> Yeah, park the bus. Yeah, that's uh, that's Jose Mourinho's tactic. All right, yeah. Inspiring some of those things. Yeah, I saw that. There, there at the left. Park. Oh, it's actually a moat. Exactly. It's actually, oh, that's cool. Because <laughs> the other one is actually uh, like all out, all out attack. To attack. And I did that uh, the other day because I was one uh, to nil behind. And I saw even the defenders in the, in the, the box. opponent box. Yes, absolutely. Like, like, what are you doing here, man? So these are the situations, you know, when when you watch, uh, if you remember the the. Champions League final between Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. So at some point Atletico was parking the bus, Real Madrid forgetting about playing good football yeah. and just throwing it's the It's a ball shame though, but it's the in the game now. Is it actual? Is it placeholder? Is it really? It is. You're really going to, to it the It is in the game. He plays like that. <laughs> and seriously, oh, that's fun. the AI understands the context and start doing that as well. You start seeing time wasting as well. Time wasting not, not in the sense of taking time for having a throw in, but people uh, like the opponent just grabbing the ball and instead of uh, trying to score, just going on the sideline, going to a corner kick to cut possession. This is, oh, wow, that's a great shot, but it's also a great pass. And that's, well, I ho hopefully you guys tweak that a bit because I mean, it's so hard to give that pass. I mean, I, I, I'm playing football, I'm not the best, but I'm never able to give a pass like that. And I think if you're not Pirlo, Xavi, it's really hard to do so. Uh, don't you think a pass like that, with what we saw before the shot happened, yeah, is know, a bit too strong still? You know, it's, it's, a, it's in, in our game, so we try to bring a lot of the personality. So what, what we use is, uh, we have a huge database so of on the run. and they have attributes yeah. for everything. Mentality attributes, physical attributes, attacking, defending, etc. So uh, we want to be, we want to have a fair representation of what uh, each player is in real life, but at the same time, you that you are controlling the players with the controller should be able to control your face. And uh, all in all, we think it, it's, it's a fantastic game that accomplishes what we were looking for this year. Uh, that is about huge responsiveness, uh, having a game that is super fun to play, being online, being with your friends, uh, like a sitting, like we're sitting together right now, uh, or, or a solo in the ball. So we really have a, a fun game to play that is accessible, you can master. Uh, it is fantastic. It's fantastic bringing all that passion for football. And then in addition to that, we have tons of game modes. So not just career mode, there are many, many new things that we're yeah. doing in, in Ultimate Team that is our, our Yeah, I play mostly seasons, but uh, yeah. Season is good. And uh, so one new feature that we have in seasons, uh, you know that uh, one, one thing that was annoying in seasons is that every time you finish a game, you need to set up everything again. Yeah. So now what you have directly as soon as you finish the game is I play next match. Okay. So, it's so I can revenge the, myself faster. Exactly. It reduces the friction. We have something similar in clubs that we call round based multiplayer. So we got inspired in first person shooters, you know, that you play the game and uh, at the end of the session you have a countdown and then you are jumping to the next session. Well, we have the same in clubs. So you don't have to set up and, and uh, everything again, but you'll just carry over and over and over. So you do what is the most important thing to that's use. That good. Is that's good. That's a that's a good uh, usability uh, 
uh, improvement. All right, very cool. Absolutely. So this game is uh, only a boring uh, one to nil victory. You cannot expect more from Chelsea, yeah, I think. Let's try to see <laughs> a highlights now. Look at the highlights. Let's look at the highlights. You see the, some of the emotional reactions. Uh, he's annoyed. He, he wants to win. I actually scored. Why is he annoyed? Well, he always said that kind of place. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you can see more the, the new lighting system that is physically based right now. And this is what I was talking about, the highlights. Much more uh, production value, like a, like a real football. Uh, so if you were hearing this, this is intermixed with music. One, two combinations. Talk about it. Almost had it. You can see a goal, the reactions on the Why, why is Kuchwa not keeping? Oh, that's not Kuchwa. Yeah, that's Kuchwa. He's the second goalkeeper. Well, we don't know yet uh, who's going to be on the starting uh, yeah. 11, so... Czech is a, is a pretty decent goalkeeper as well. Quite Tim Howard, actually. The US yes. goalkeeper, did you guys uh, use him? Uh, at, at yeah, he because he did a great uh, World Cup? He was in the studio, uh, I think it was two weeks ago, uh, doing like a mock-up session for us. Yeah, and it was great. So Howard actually uh, had the record of uh, saves in a World Cup match. And uh, he's a fantastic keeper. Really, he's a fantastic yeah. keeper. Uh, this is a really good studio. player as well. This Oscar, is, uh, yes. is Oscar. Oscar. He was only the one uh, Brazilian player who actually played really good, actually, I think. Well, uh, you, you think in the World Cup? Yeah, in the well, World Cup. I think Thiago Silva uh, was the key player for Brazil. I, he wasn't there in the semi-final when but they needed yeah, him. No, not having <laughs> Thiago Silva against Germany, I, I think they suffer more the, the absence of Thiago yeah. Silva than Neymar's absence. That, that's fantastic, that's right. Uh, sorry, we have to